Hello and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 14th through the 20th. The card that we pulled this week from the Lioness Oracle deck is the Hanged Woman. So the Hanged Woman is a card of patience, a card of being present in the current moment rather than projecting your thoughts into the future. So you might find this week that you're feeling a little impatient. You're feeling a little anxiety over what's to come or what you are looking forward to in the next coming weeks. And you've actually been handed this week as a time period to shift your perspective, to meditate and reflect upon your past and really get clear about what you want for your future. So while the hanged man may seem like a daunting card, it's actually a blessing in disguise because ultimately when we start to charge forth to something that we're really looking forward to, we tend to take some necessary steps along the way. So sometimes the universe will intervene to allow us for that time period where things feel a little stalled. And this card is rather fitting because we are going through several retrogrades right now. Venus is just leaving the retrograde period this week. Mercury went retrograde. Uh, I believe that we have Saturn and Pluto joining as well. So there are four planets retrograde this week and that is all about things slowing down in several different areas of your life. But that's a good thing. It's a time period to really collect your thoughts and to get clear about where it is that you are headed. And the only anxiety that comes up during the hangman is in trying to be someplace that you're not yet. So the more that you can surrender and accept the state that you're sort of suspended in, the more that you can see that different perspective. So when everything feels like it's flipped upside down and your feet are tied together and you can't move forward, it's a calling out from the universe to really see your current situation with a different point of view. Maybe you are rushing forward to this new goal because you feel like it's going to be something bigger and better than what you have now. And that very well might be true. But if you're running away from the situation to rush towards this goal, you're ultimately not learning the lessons that you should have from your past. Whereas if you can learn from your past, if you can shift your perspective on your previous experience and let it be something positive, something that you learn from, something that you grew from, then you can take that energy, that energy of enlightenment, into your new situation and it's going to make it that much more stable. It's as if you have been building all of these foundations all over town and some of them aren't as strong as others. But you can take what you learned from your previous projects, you can take what you've learned from those past experiences and build the next foundation that much stronger. So as you look at this waiting period this week, really evaluate your plans evaluate the architecture, so to speak, of your previous experiences and analyze what it is that you want to do differently in this new situation. This is a valuable time period where you can collect who it is that you want to be as you move forward into this exciting new time because there are really exciting things headed your way. But you want to make sure that you bring the right energy into it. You want to make sure that you go into it not with an energy of running from your problems, but with an energy of calmly stepping into this new state of being with the knowledge that you have from your past. Clap along, clap, clap along, clap along. So if you would like more tarot, you can head over to michellesheawalker.com to order a personal reading. And as I did last week, I will be offering up a second card for this week over on my Instagram, at Michelle Shea. So if you were to head over there, subscribe, follow, share the good vibes if you enjoyed this video. And until next week, I hope that you enjoy this period of contemplation. <laughs>